Hi, today we're going to be talking about one of the elements of art called texture. Texture is the way something feels, okay? Um, and to do this, we're going to draw a triceratops and add some texture. We're going to be thinking about texture in two terms, real texture or how something really feels. Um, for my triceratops, I used cotton, which is soft and fluffy up here for the clouds and I used um, the edges of notebook paper, which is kind of prickly, like maybe grass might feel down here. And then we're gonna also be thinking about implied texture. It looks how it might feel, okay? So for implied texture, I used peeled crayons and um, the bottom of our shoe. So everybody take a look at the bottom of your shoe and you will see some lumps and bumps. This is the um, bottom of my shoe and you can see some lumps and bumps. And when you put it paper on top of it and rub it with a peeled crayon color, it's going to give you a wonderful texture that looks like, like my Triceratops. I rubbed my shoe with a purple crayon and it kind of looks like he might be rough and scaly. Okay, so let's get started. To get started, you're going to need thinner paper today. So thinner paper might be printer paper, um, nice and lightweight, or notebook paper, which is also nice and lightweight because we're gonna wanna rub our implied texture through it. Um, and then I also, when I ripped um, paper out of the notebook, I saved the edges because that was kind of fun to use for my grass because it adds a real texture that looks like maybe it might look when it's grass. Okay, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna get started by drawing our Triceratops, okay? Um, and I'm going to be using a marker so you can see what I'm doing. Um, you can use a pencil or whatever you have, okay? So make sure you're using a thinner piece of paper. I'm holding it in the landscape or sideways direction. I'm going to start with kind of an oval shape right here in the middle, okay? I'm going to add a little bit of a curvy triangle back here for its tail. Then let's draw the first leg of our triceratop. And then the back leg back here, a little rectangle that's angled a bit. And then his other front leg or her other front leg coming up like this. And then the other fourth leg is going to be peeking from the back like that. I'm going to give my triceratops some little toes while we're here. Okay, little half ovals for triceratop toes on each one of these feet. Okay, then I'm going to, it's gonna feel like I'm drawing a triangle. I'm gonna come up for the triceratops head like this, and it's gonna be kind of a curvy triangle like that. Then let's make those cool horns in the front by drawing two curvy kind of triangles with a little bit of a curved bottom like that. I'm going to draw an oval for its eyes with an oval inside of it and a little reflecting dot inside. Now remember, we're looking at the side of our Triceratops, so we're only gonna see half of its face or its face in profile. Then I'm going to draw those cool triangles coming down the back of my Triceratops head like that, okay? And maybe add some swooping details like this. A smile, because I want my Triceratops to be happy and the big triangle horn that's up front like that. Okay, so now our Triceratop is done. Let's think about where he might be or she might be. I'm going to draw the horizon line or where earth and sky meet back here. Then I'm gonna add maybe a volcano, okay? Um, so I'm gonna draw my volcano first and then maybe some cool lava coming down like this and another hill or mountain, and one more hill or mountain. And then let's draw those clouds, so maybe we can show a light fluffy texture for our clouds. One and two, like that, okay. Then our drawing is done and we're ready to start thinking about what we're going to do for our texture. Okay, so I remember I told you we're going to be using the side of a peeled crayon or sideways crayons, what we call them in class. Um, take off your shoe or if you look at the bottom, 
almost every shoe has a texture on the bottom these days, okay? So you're gonna put your paper on top of your shoe where you want that texture, that um, implied texture to show up, okay? So I'm gonna do it right here in the body, and I'm just gonna push down gently and maybe in circles, rub around in a circle, and you can see, look at that cool texture that's coming through from my shoe. If you want to, you can try lots of different shoes. Um, on mine, I borrowed my family's shoes, and I did lots and lots of different textures, okay? So my Triceratops itself was one uh, texture and one color from my peeled crayons. Um, then each one of the, the volcano and the two mountains are each different textures. And even the sky, I rubbed in a texture using different kinds of shoes. Or you might want to experiment. Go around the house, go on a texture uh, scavenger hunt and see so you can see how things feel, um, what they might look like. This is my sandpaper. Um, even if I rub back and forth on my sandpaper, that's um, going to give me a nice kind of grainy sort of texture like that, okay? Um, so go around the house, see if you can find um, textures to use. Then for my real texture, I got a cotton ball and I pulled it apart and I glued that to my paper here for the clouds. And then like I told you, I used um, these leftover fringe from my notebook paper because I thought that looked like it might be a fun grass to use, okay? And before I glued it down, I just um, rubbed back and forth with my sideways crayon, okay? And then you just wanna glue on this part, okay? Don't glue on the top of the fringe part here, just on this part, so that when you glue it down, you can make it prickly like grass might be by rubbing back and forth like this, so you have rough grass, okay? So, a texture triceratops. Texture is how something feels. Um, I used, for real texture, cotton ball for soft, fluffy clouds. I used the fringe from the um, notebook paper for the prickly grass, and then implied texture, how something might feel, uh, especially on our triceratop. I used the bottom of my shoe with a peeled crayon, put the shoe underneath, peeled crayon on top, rub back and forth in a circle, for your texture, okay? So, have fun with textures, have fun finding textures, have fun and be creative. Bye.